Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're all doing well. Touch a little bit on some of your comments here. Last video I did, yes, 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 the Philippines. And yes, I can't, just can't not get enough of the Philippines. So, eh, here we go. Uh, you know, a lot of you guys have a lot of really nice comments, and I really appreciate that. My wife sees the comments. Uh, my wife hasn't been doing video for a little while. Um, but, you know, uh, we just we just can't thank you enough for your generous comments and just for being part of the channel. So we'll start off with uh, Jennifer. Jennifer says, God bless you and your family, sir. Enjoy your life in the slow pace of the province in the Philippines. I intend to retire there when time comes and I, I can't wait we can be relaxed and eat fresh food and live longer God bless the Filipinos and the Philippines and all of us amen to that yeah uh, I don't know exactly you know when that time comes when I end up in the Philippines where I'm gonna be I don't know yet I still got a ways off yet but um, Anyhow, yeah, let's move on. Um, thank you for that comment. Uh, is it, am I saying it right, Zion? Zion, Zion? Uh, I feel you, sir. Uh, William, that's how I feel when I miss my home so much. Uh, and thank you for loving my videos. I, I appreciate that. Some of them are kind of like dragging and boring, but you know, that's just part of doing videos, you know? You have good and you have bad. Uh, you're right about the people who started their day at 2 or 3 in the morning. Uh, mostly cab, bus, tricycle, and jeepney drivers are like that just to put food on their tables. That is very, very true. Uh, when I stay in the Philippines, I'm usually at a condo. There was a particular place that we had stayed. Uh, don't remember the name of the place, but I was able to go up onto the rooftop which I absolutely loved. I loved going up on the rooftop of this building. And uh, I, I can specifically remember there were mornings where it was two or three in the morning. I couldn't sleep. And it was just so comfortable out. You know, it was nice warm uh, breeze up on the rooftop of the building. And it's just as much alive at two or three in the morning as it is at seven or eight. So yeah that's very true people people start very early in the philippines um that's total dedication my friend that's you do what you gotta do uh robert try to go to the province uh, uh no traffic and much more fresh food yes that's very true you don't have as much traffic and you do get a lot more fresh food um yeah everybody says about going to the province uh they I, I see a lot of videos on people in Cebu. Uh, Cebu seems to be a very popular spot for foreigners. Um, there's a lot of, in my opinion, there's a lot of foreigners going into Cebu, areas like that, for the wrong reasons. And I think we all know what I'm talking about. Um, I've seen quite a few videos on... Uh, I don't know if, what do they call it, the Red District, or it's where they have all the dancing girls, and the girls just basically walk in the streets, up and down the sidewalks, and yeah, that's not for me, <laughs> that's not for me, um, but I know there's a lot of foreigners that are attracted to that particular, those areas. Um, then we have Nad, Nad says, man, I like your shirt, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, my wife, actually, that's the shirt she bought me, or she sent to me when she was still in the Philippines. Uh, she had sent that here to me. And uh, well, let's just say I showed you the upper part. You didn't want to see the lower part. It was pretty darn tight. Yeah, and it's even tighter now. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we're not going to go there. A uh, plane ticket costs twice as much in December because of the Christmas season. That's that's very true. Um, we're we're continuously every day we're looking at different sites, uh, hoping to come across the lowest.
price ticket. Um, so far, every year we've seemed to have lucked out. Now, this is the first year that we will be going around Christmas time. So, yeah, I think the times, the dates, uh, when you're going over have a lot to do with price, price, price range. I've gone over basically around March uh, for the last three years. So, okay. Uh, then we have John. Hey, what's up, John? Uh, it is so much better in the Philippines and, and to share your point of view. Yes, it is, my friend. It is so much better in the Philippines. Uh, for those of you that have never experienced going into a different culture or a different country, I highly recommend it, especially the Philippines. The Philippines is just an awesome, awesome place to go. Um, it'll, it'll change your heart. Trust me, it will change the way you think about things when you see how the people are. Um, and we don't have to be this way. We don't have to have that fast paced lifestyle. We don't, you know, we don't, we can, we can take a deep breath and just sit back and just relax a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And not get all stressed out over things all the time. You're going to have things come into your life. Everybody does. Okay. The Philippines has their own kind of stress. Yeah. I can't, not going to say that they're stress free because that's not true. Um, but they they all come together um, as one and you know they're just very humble and um, they take each day as it as it comes basically Apollo LA traffic in the Philippines <laughs> yeah I'm kind of still kind of thinking that the Philippines is much worse um, but the LA traffic is pretty intense pretty pretty intense in Los Angeles. I've seen uh, pictures and video of the traffic in Los Angeles and I wouldn't want to do it. I mean it's it is it's pretty tight. Counting Islands what's up man? First nice intro thank you appreciate that. Traffic sucks in the big cities only. In the provinces saw travel vloggers traveling for miles with nearly zero traffic and I agree with you 100% that is very true um, I too have um, seen many videos um, where they are in different parts of the Philippines where there's very little to no traffic so you know that Manila is uh, we all know is the capital of Philippines and and it it's yeah it's uh there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people in Manila and surrounding areas, the outer parts of Manila. Uh, my wife's family lives right outside of Manila, so therefore um, we go. Um, I don't mind it. I personally, I don't mind being around that. all these people. Um, I like it too, where there is very little people, but you know, I, I just enjoy it. I enjoy the sound. I enjoy watching the people and, and you know, um, those, those are the, the things that I miss because here, you know, here you don't, you don't have that. You don't, you don't have that. You, you know, you have here, it's, it's like, well, you mentioned, uh, it was mentioned about Los Angeles traffic. Well, in the Pittsburgh area, it's the same thing. You have, what they call the rush hour uh, you have that rush before getting to work you have the rush coming out of work and yeah traffic can get pretty intense but it is anywhere close to the way it is in the Philippines it isn't anywhere close to that so um, there's there's that pretty much on that video um, Let's see what else we can get into here real quick. Um, I thank all you guys for being here, man. It means everything to me. Uh, those of you that are, are commenting on all the videos that I put out. You know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, it's, it's not... When you do videos, it's not always easy coming up with... Uh, ideas on what to do a video on and 
there are times where your brain just freezes up and you just don't know what to talk about and so um, <laughs> you know it's just one of those things where uh, I try to put out as many videos as I possibly can especially you know I try to do at least one or two per week but that's not always the case um, now I did take a little bit of time away from it to put my lighting together um, and uh, yeah so there you have it y'all okay uh, sometimes you just gotta just take a breather and just try to put your thoughts together on what can I do next just gonna touch a little bit on this other video that I did which was gold diggers um, uh, I got quite a few hits on that um, you know you have a lot of different people here that that don't see things the same way they they feel that when you know two people become one so called as they see it I'm kind of stumbling here y'all but um you have people that just don't believe that you should be involved with a different culture you should be marrying somebody of your own type and blah 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 and this and that and it's like where, where do you even get this stuff you know seriously uh it just annoys me uh Anyhow, on that on that video, you know, I touched on you know about gold diggers and yeah, you're gonna have that here and there. You know, it's unfortunate for some people they they do experience that. You have some people that aren't in it for the right reasons, okay. Um, but like I said, you got to do your homework. Paulo, you said about all I can say is stay away from negative people. That's very true. Stay away from the negative people. The people that, um, you know, I actually, uh, one of the places that I used to work at before, I had a good friend, he was a good friend of mine from work, you know, that said, uh, so, is that your your wife, was that one of them, you buy a bride type situations? And I can remember when he said that to me, there was a part of me that just, I just looked at him, you know what I mean? I just looked right at him, and I just shook my head at him. And, I, and I'm thinking, you know, in my head, I'm thinking, you're you're a real, you know. And I said, seriously, that, that that's that's what you think. That's what you think. You think that I actually took money out of my pocket and paid to get to try to get a bride. It really affected me to know that even people that I worked with were thinking a certain way. But I let them know. I, I let them know right away how I, how I felt about that little comment. And it kind of shut them up. Uh, and then there's Nellie. Nellie, you said, um, you commented saying because there's a lot of judgmental people in the world. And that is very true. Everybody is judged every single day. When you come across different people, your first impression is when they first look at you, that's their first impression. They're judging you on how you look or maybe how you're dressed or how your hair is, how heavy you are, how skinny you are. It's like that every day. So she had said that when she's with her boyfriend and she's walking on the streets, most of the girls look at her as if she had done something wrong to them. Well, Nellie, all I can tell you is jealousy. They're just jealous, my friend. They're jealous. We'll leave it at that. Um, I'm not going deep on this um, because it's to me, it's just, you know, it's not really. Um, I had did this video only because there was certain comments and when I'm, I'm going to be honest with you when people leave comments 
that are nasty, right away, I shut you down. I shut you down to the point where you can no longer make any comments on any of my videos. I totally block you out. Because I don't need that in my life. I don't need nasty people with their nastiness. Okay, I've dealt enough of that on my own. I also did a video, y'all, called Southville. Um, um, Southville 3 Experience. And that particular day, my wife and I, I, I told her, I said, well, listen, you know, I want to walk around. I just want to see what the area is all about. I want to, you know, I just want to interact with the people. And at the very beginning of the, the video, we stumbled across a section where I guess they, they gather um, garbage. They go and they pick up garbage and then they, they wait for the garbage truck to arrive and then they get, I guess they get, they get paid. It's mind blowing to me on how very little you can be paid for such great work. Um, I mean, so basically these people at the very beginning of the, the video, they, they collect garbage and then they, they wait for the garbage truck, I guess, to get their money. And I think it's like 75 cents per, per buggy or something like that, which is not a whole lot. And uh, I was actually in that video, yo, I was going to stay, stick around and ask them more about that. But this was last year and I was sick. I had a virus and I was trying to make the best of my trip and um, you know I was just trying to make the best of everything so I wasn't really up to uh, standing there just asking questions. I mean when you are sick and you have a virus and you're dealing with the heat and and you know you know what that's like it, it's it's pretty rough. Um, but all in all, it was a good experience walking around Southville 3. Um, I, my impression was um, people are just going about their day, their, their everyday life, doing what they have to do every day. And it's, it's mind-blowing to me on, ju <clears throat> excuse me, on just how... Um, just how happy people people really are you know what I mean people are just so so happy over there um, I didn't get a whole lot of hits y'all on a my video where 8,000 miles two worlds apart and uh, in this video I, I get pretty emotional I get pretty emotional because it af it affects me when I see my wife struggling with not being able to see her family. She sees them on video, but for her not to be in the physical, you know what I mean? And when I was doing this video, it kind of hit me a little bit uh, on on that. So if you get a chance, check that video out. Uh, discussing Philippine big size clothing. That was another uh, pretty good video. I thought that we touched on an important uh, topic about People that are bigger getting clothes in the Philippines. People don't think about that. You know, you don't really think about, can I get clothes there? <laughs> I mean, I know I can't. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things. You know, so, like I said, it's always good to try to do your homework before you, you know, go on any trip. Um. <clears throat> Let's see, what else have we got here, y'all? What else? I did uh, my 10 reasons to go to the Philippines, and there's some people that commented and said there's a lot more reasons. Well, yeah, that's true. There is. There's, there's a ton of reasons on why you should go to the Philippines, okay? There's a ton more. Uh... uh 
I think that's it for now. I just wanted to touch touch on some of the most recent videos that I had done. Um, so anyhow, y'all. Um, brain freeze. I hate it when that happens. You know, you, you got something that's there and then now it's not there. Now it's not there. So, anyhow. Thanks for being here, guys. And I love all of your comments. All your comments are welcome. And I, I can't thank you enough. And I'm trying... I'm trying to... Uh, I'm trying to reach a certain goal on my views. Okay? I currently... Let me tell you where I'm at, y'all. Okay? Somebody says, I love it when you say y'all. Y'all! I'm currently at 335,000. I am trying to hit 500,000 views. Now, I don't understand this YouTube thing. I don't know what happens when you reach certain goals, what have you. But that's my next goal. My next goal, YouTube is saying hit 500,000 views. I'm at 335,000, so y'all best start hitting them, them views. Start hitting on my videos, daggone it. Okay? I don't care if you watch the whole damn, make sure you watch it longer than a minute. Alright? It's got to be longer than a minute. Now, I'm just jobbing you guys, but I am trying to hit that uh, 500,000 views. Also, my uh, subscribers, I'm almost there. Almost at 2,000 subscribers. I am uh, 1,943, and I'm hoping you all could hit that subscribe button as well. I'd appreciate that. So, anyhow, keep it real. Love the ones you're with, and I'll be getting another video out to you guys here very soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.